Hi, good morning, students and my dear GATE aspirants. As you're all aware, this upcoming GATE 2026 notification has come about uh, 25 days ago, and uh, now the online registration has started. It's just started yesterday, that is on 28th August. Earlier, uh, the important dates, if you just watched that, earlier that, uh, uh, that online registration was supposed to be on August 25th, but that was modified to the August 28th. You can see here. And uh, uh, the last date for the online registration will be on uh, September 25th earlier. Now it is changed to that September 28th. That means exactly one month is there to uh, register on online mode for the upcoming gate 2026, which is being conducted by IIT Gauhati, right? And uh, with penalty uh, that will go up to the October 9th. But I suggest that just before the that without penalty, just before the closing date of that. Uh, without late fee, you will just try to finish it off the online registration, okay, uh, which has started just yesterday on August 28th. Okay, that the dates are all aware that only four days, February 7th, 8th, 14th and 15th and uh, results will be on the March 19th and uh, uh, the li dates may likely to be changed as given in the IIT website. As given in the IIT website, the dates might likely to be changed. As far as the uh, I mean, examination is concerned, the required documents I would like to highlight there. This is the main point students uh, get to know, want to would like to know what are the required documents they are supposed to upload while uh, registering on the online, which has started yesterday. So the main things will be the name. See, you know, that whatever the name, what you have put up in the either 10th class or the 12th class certificate without any change, exactly try to try to uh, put it on the online application. Uh, see, address for the communication, details of the eligibility degree, whether B.E. or B.Tech or whatever it is, uh, initiative of the college name and the choice of the guest uh, uh, test papers there. So, as you are all aware, two papers you can write. That uh, two, pa what are the two papers? Maximum two papers, uh, you could write one paper also, but you are eligible to write the maximum of two papers. We have to uh, legibly indicate what are the two papers you would like to write. Like mechanical smear would like to write the, like, along with the mechanics XC or electrical uh, engineering people may would like to write along with the electrical, you may write to write the EC or electrical people may write the instrumentation also. But those two papers, we have to indicate it in the online registration very legibly and clearly. Choices of three gate examination. We can choose three gate centers, uh, but they should belong to the same gate zone. That you know, the same zone it should be. So that required zone you know, will be given in the application brochure. There you can see that. But the maximum three cities you can select based upon that availability will be allotted the center there. Net banking and you know, all that fees and all. And one more thing is say, I would like to say while uh, paying the fees for the gate test papers. Uh, for per paper, I think it is 1000 rupees, for two papers, 2000 rupees. We do not have to uh, fill two separate uh, applications. Even though you are writing the two test papers, one application will be sufficient, but the amount of the fees required per paper uh, will be 1000. For if you want to write the two papers, because maximum you are eligible to write the two papers, it will be 2000 rupees. The documents required will be uh, the other documents you have to upload, it will be the good quality uh, of the I mean, uh, good quality photograph, candidate's photograph, and good quality image of the signature and scanned copy of the valid photo identity document. This identity document, whatever it is, the same document originally you are supposed to possess it during the examination day. Actually, same documents what you are uploading now, the same document original you are supposed to possess it while writing the examination, while going to the examination center. Scanned copy of the uh, SCSG certificate or whatever the PWD certificate, whatever it is, scanned copies, uh, a very legible manner. You see, is a very legible manner that all the whatever the documents you are uploading, they should be clearly visible. Okay. Uh, relevant uh, annex years if applicable in the PDF format, certificate required for the compensatory time and scheme, all these things you have to upload. Please note that, ensure that uploaded documents are readable and clear. That is very importantly given in the website. Okay, uploading unreadable documents may lead to delays in the processing and it may be even lead to the rejection. So, whatever the documents you are uploading into the while the online registration, they must be very clearly legible and legible and uh, much readable as such, more importantly. Okay, the important dates already uh, I have mentioned that. Okay, important dates we are given that uh, yesterday started, the last day will be September 28th without late fee. Finish it as early as possible. Once for all, your responsibility will be over, will be over right? 
So, uh, uh, this is the very important things you need to uh, understand and how to, uh, how to fill it the application form, how to go to the website and how to the fill the application form. Again, uh, other person will be giving you the complete in detail how to uh, upload, how to fill the application form. What are the process, what are the precautions you have to take while filling up the application form. Thanks a lot. This is Sekar from M Sigma Gokula. Let us now take a detailed look into the GATE exam registration process. Before you proceed with the application, please make sure you have all the following documents ready with you. Initially, a color photograph, which should be in either JPEG, JPG or PNG format with a minimum pixel resolution 200 times 260 and maximum pixel resolution 530 times 690. And the file size should lies between 5 GB and 600 GB. Next is to upload a signature. The signature must be in blue or black ink and should only be in JPEG or GPG format. The minimum pixel resolution should be 250 times 80 and the maximum pixel resolution should be 580 times 180. The file size should be between 3 GB to 300 GB. And then we should upload a, a photo ID which should be in PDF format and the file size should be between 10 KB to 600 KB. It could be preferably an Aadhaar card. Other than your Aadhaar card, you are also allowed to use your driving license or PAN card. If you are ready with all these documents, go to Google and browse GATE 2026. Then you click on the first shown link of IIT Guwahati and in the initial window on the top right corner, you can see the application portal. Essential part of registration, you can fill your first name, middle name and surname then confirm the name of the candidate then make sure you click on the continue button and you can enter your email address and confirm the same email address after confirming your mail id you can enter your mobile number and after confirming your mobile number you can choose a strong password which does not exceed 15 characters once confirming your password you can enter the captcha given in the screen which is in a format of a arithmetic expression once you click on the registration button you will receive the enrollment id on your registered mail id and you can use that enrollment id and password for the further application process now you all can see how the initial window will be looking like and you have to go through six steps to complete the examination process in that the initial step will be fill in the examination details. There exists a provision to attend more than one paper if wanted and if you are applying for more than one paper after filling the details of the primary paper the details of the second paper will appear. For general application the fee is 2000 rupees and if you are applying for two papers the fee will be double the amount. After completing the paper details you can choose your preferred city as choice of examination. You can choose three cities priority wise and once you have completed this we can jump on to the personal details your enrollment id will be visible on the screen so that you can verify it again then you can see your name as if how it is going to be visible on your admit card and your qualifying card with the provision to edit it if necessary then once you click on your verify your mail id option an otp will be sent to your registered mail id and using that otp you can verify your mail id Likewise, you can verify your mobile number as well. After that, you can start filling all the details asked in the screen, which include your date of birth, gender, nationality, category, if you are a person with a disability or not, country of permanent residence, state or union territory of permanent residence, a valid photo ID and a valid photo ID number, followed by the name of your parent or guardian, the relationship you have with your parent, nationality of your parent and the contact number of your parent. Once you have finished all these steps, just click on the save button and this, this will direct you to the address filling details. Now in the address filling area, make sure you are filling it with your present address and first you have to fill your PIN code and after filling your PIN code, you can see the country and um, state or union territory will be filled automatically and after that you can fill in your address line 1 and as you can see address line 2 and 3 are optional. After that you can fill in your city or town details and make sure you are saving all these details and after this we can go on to the qualification degree details. In the qualifying degree details initially you have to give your college pin code then your college roll number and after that your qualifying degree followed by the discipline of your qualifying degree then the status have you graduated in the HIPO degree or are you currently pursuing it then you have to mention the year you are qualifying your degree and the name of the degree awarding university or the institute name after that you have to fill in your college name then you have to save all this information then we shall move on to the document filling section the document filling area is the most important area in the whole application and this is the area where a lot of people will be making a lot of mistakes 
So you have to be very careful while uploading all these documents. So before uploading these documents, make sure you are checking on the browser information to understand what all are the acceptable formats for these documents. The images you are seeing in the screen right now are the samples of acceptable photographs and the images you are seeing right now on the screen are the samples of not acceptable photographs. After uploading your photograph and your signature, which should be either in black ink or blue ink, you have to upload your valid photo ID. Once you upload your valid photo ID, you need to answer these two questions asked on the screen. First one is, how did you come to know about date 2026? And once you click on the section, you can choose appropriate answer from the options given below. And next is, what is the purpose of applying for GIT 2026 exams? Here also, you can choose an appropriate option from the options given below. After filling all these questions, you can click on to the view application to review your application and to verify all the details you have been giving so far. If you need to make any further correction, click on the edit application section and in the particular area and then click verify. This will direct you to the declaration area. Once you finish reading the declaration, you have to type your name in the e-signature area. Then you have you need to click on to the verify application form and this will download your application form directly. And after that, you can submit and proceed to the payment. For females, SCST and PWD candidates, the fee for regular period is 1000 per paper and extended period is 1500 per paper and for other candidates for regular period the fee is 2000 per paper and for extended period the fee is 2500 per paper. Now you can click on the continue area and please note that data once submitted cannot be modified later. After continuing this will direct you to the payment page. Make sure you have read all the following instructions carefully and then you need to fill the captcha by solving the arithmetic equation and click on to the pay option. After this you need to fill the billing information which include the billing name, address, zip code, city, state, the country, mobile number and your mail id. Now on the payment information, you can choose one from the options given below from credit card, debit card, net banking, wallet or even UPI. If you are choosing UPI ID, fill in your UPI ID and click on the make payment option. And by making the payment, you have completed your GATE 2026 application. Thank you for listening so far. Hope your preparations are going well and all the best.